Yo, this story is hard to believe, but it is true. What's good, Jazz Corner Sports? That now in France, you know they're going through their paces. They're going through their championships because in Eugene, Oregon, the middle of the month, you got the World Championships. So French hurdler Wilfried Happio was warming up for his 400 meter hurdlers race, and. Some guy came up to him and said, are you Wilfried Happio? He was like, yeah, Wilfried Happio. And the guy, two pieces, Wilfried Happio. But his eye and his nose. Eventually, paramedics came. They arrested the guy that was the attacker. And Wilfried had a, a decision to make. Am I going to run in my race in 20 minutes? Or I'm going to let all this hard work get in here just go by the wayside. He wipes the blood off of his nose and his eye. He puts on an eye patch, a bandage, goes out and runs the best race of his life. Now he finished first in the 400 meter hurdles. He ran 48 and some change. To qualify for the world championships, in Eugene, Oregon, in the middle of July. He said, I was shaking a little bit, but I put too much work in to, to quit. Now, Wilfred is only 23 years old. So he, got, he had mixed emotions when he crossed the finish line. Now, we don't even know why he was attacked. It was just a random attack. And Wilfred got the brunt of it. He took a L, but he didn't take a L in the, in the race. He didn't take a L with his courage. Most guys wouldn't even compete it. They would have been shook. They would have been done. Now he ran a 48-5-7 to qualify for the world championships. But he'll need to run faster than that if he wants to win or even come in second place. But uh, salute to him on a job well done and overcoming adversity. Torch his guys later, I'm on my way to work.